Hello, my name is Louise and I just finished the communication style quiz and it says my basic communication style is promoter and some of the things on there it says people in relationships are at the core of your communications. Accomplishments are less important to you than the bonds you create along the way. You're rarely at loss for words and your optimism and inclusiveness make you an indispensable addition to any team. Networking, connections, excitement. These are the things that motivate your communications. Because, because of this, you see every interaction as an opportunity to build relationships. Your positive, adventurous style can lead to risk taking. You tend to focus on the big picture and can be surprised by, many, by missing details. Question number one, do you agree or disagree with your results? Why or why not? I would have to agree with the results. I do love uh, team building and building relationships with our families within our program. So I would agree. Number two, now consider your interactions with others. How does your communications change when interacting with someone face-to-face -face versus virtually? Uh, I'm a very shy person when it comes to either Zoom meetings and we have to have the camera on and face-to-face. -face, I'm a shy person if I don't know you too well. I would have to get to know you to um, come out of my shell. So for now, I would rather do over-the-phone calls, over-the-phone over calls or emails until I do get to know your personality. Um, so for now, virtually is the way to go if I don't know the person. Number three, to what extent do you prioritize mediated communications when you're in a face-to-face -face encounters with others? Um, just like I said, face-to-face -face for me, if I don't know you, I'm very shy. I don't like to be the first one to speak. Um, so if I can have somebody doing, like, asking me questions, um, I would rather have that happening. Otherwise, I would need to know what I am going to be talking about and... Um, just the way I am. I'm just a very shy person. Number four, how would you, how would your important relationships change if you created device-free zones and times? Uh, my relationship probably would change quite a bit. I um, am a device person. I do love my Zoom meetings. Um, if we don't have the camera on and if I don't know you, then that's fine. Um, but if I have to do face-to-face, -face, I would rather have someone there with me that I do know and to help me start conversations. So there you go. Thanks.